The red light needs to be uh recording now. You ready? All right. We are debating on the jizia. To start with, um, sorry, I'll start the time. To start with, uh, Ali Dawad was the one that challenged me to debate the jizya. But Adnan is here and Ali Dawad is there as well. If Adnan needs any help, you can help him out. Yes. So, uh, you need the help, okay. So, the Quran is very clear, the Hadith is very clear, and the Tafsir is very clear what jizya is for. What is the reason that jizya exists in your own scriptures. So I'm going to read from the Quran to start with and then I'll give you the tafsir and also hadith. So Surah 9, 28, 29 and 30. I'm going to read all three verses. All you who have believed, indeed the polytheists are unclean. So let them not approach the Al-Masjid Al-Haram. After this, their final year and if you fear privation, Allah will enrich you from his bounty if he wills. Indeed, Allah is all-knowing and wise. Fight those who don't believe in Allah in the last day and who don't consider unlawful what Allah and his messenger have made unlawful, who do not adopt the religion of the truth from those who are given the scripture. Fight until they give the jizya with willing submission and feel themselves subdued. Ayah 30, last one. The Jews say Ezra is the son of Allah. Christians say the Messiah is the son of Allah. That is their statement from their mouths. They imitate the saying of those who disbelieved. May Allah destroy them, how they are deluded. So, that's jizya right there. What is the reason of jizya? I have 10 seconds. Sahih al-Bukhari 5588 My livelihood is under the shade of my spear and he who disobeys my orders will be humiliated by paying the jizya. That's Muhammad talking. Done. Thank you for that. You ready? So jizya, yeah. Yeah, start. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Jizya, what is it? First of all, we have to understand that jizya is a tax which non-Muslims paid to the Muslim governments in the past to protect themselves for their own protection. This tax was given to the government so that they can have certain privileges. One of those privileges was that the Christians and the Jews didn't have to do military service, which was compulsory for Muslims. And the Muslims were paying more tax than the Christians and the Jews. What was this year? How much was it? They would pay a gold coin for those who were rich uh, beyond a certain limit. They paid one gold coin, which was four grams of gold every year. The ones who were middle class, they, would pay, they paid uh, 24 silver coins and the laborer paid 12 silver coins and that was a very little amount for the entire for the entire year and that's all they pay for that what do they get in return they got protection from the muslims for their wines for the swines for their religion for the churches for the bishops and this is exactly what the treaties state what the christian friends fail to do is deliberately in some cases is to read those treaties which the Prophet ﷺ struck with non-Muslims. For example, the Treaty of Najran. Najran was a Christian settlement in the south of Arabia. Prophet Muhammad struck a treaty with them in the treaty it states that your lives, your property, your cattle, your churches, your bishop, your religion is under the protection of Allah and His Messenger. No changes whatsoever in your status will be made and you shall remain in peace and justice. And Allah and His Messenger will protect you. In return, you pay jizya. So jizya, as a lot of Christians like to claim, uh, was not to humiliate Christians and Jews. Rather, there were times when Christians and Jews were in the highest posts in the Muslim Empire. Ten seconds. The, the most powerful Muslim monarch in the 10th century in Europe was Abdurrahman III in Spain. His prime minister was Jewish. Abdurrahman was governing time. a Sharia state and Jewish prime minister. I wonder time. how he was humiliated. Time, time, time. It's very interesting that Adnan is just talking without reference. I started this debate by giving you references from your own sources, Muslims. Yeah, I gave you Surah 928 to 30. And I gave you Sahih al-Bukhari, book 55, um, number 88. Yeah, chapter 88. This is what it says. This is what your prophet said. It's not me saying that uh, jizya is for humiliation. It's not me. That's Muhammad himself. 
Listen to what he said, if you didn't listen. Narrated Ibn Umar that the Prophet said, my livelihood is under the shade of my spear. And he who disobeys my orders will be humiliated by paying the jizya. So Muslims, it's not me making this up, it's your Prophet. I have chunks of evidence to show in few other next segments that I will show. So jizya was there to humiliate because you don't believe in Allah. The verse starts, listen, Surah 929 starts by saying, fight those who do not believe in Allah. So it's got to do with my faith. It's got nothing to do with me paying tax. In this country, you pay tax. If you don't pay tax, no one's going to kill you. Probably go to prison or you get penalized. But in Islam, under Sharia law, as a Christian, if I don't pay the tax, what happens to me? You kill them. And who said that? That's Tafsir Ibn Kathir. You're shaking your head, but the thing is, yeah, it's right there. It's in your, it's in your own sources. I'll read it for you. This is what Tafsir Ibn Kathir says. It says, therefore, watch, I'm coming. Therefore, all people of the world should be called to Islam. I don't think you have any problem with that, do you? If any of them refuses to do so, or refuses to pay the jizya, they should be fought till they are killed. This is Ibn Kathir, uh, part two on Surah Al-Baqarah and Surah uh, Al-Tawbah, abridged version. This is the tafsir of Ibn Kathir, volume two. It's right there. So, I'm finished I'm and you can continue. 15. I'm gonna take 15, yeah. no problem. <laughs> Thank you for Ready? that. This is a very crude reading of Islamic sources. Have you noticed what he does is, uh, he picks a hadith and reads it solitarily on its own, without reading reports before and the reports after. Likewise, Ibn Kathir, when you re read the entire chapter, what you see there is a commentary on a verse, giving the historical context, the theological context, the context in war, the context in peace, right? What they do is they pick the context on war and they make it the general rule of Islam. This is where Christian missionaries have failed for centuries to deceive people because the Muslim scholars are awake. Muslim scholars clarify the picture. Now, what is the context there? The verse he read from the Quran where it states, fight those who do not believe in Allah and His Messenger and charge them jizya, right? What is the context? Same Ibn Kathir, when he will go and read it, states that this happened when the Romans were attacking the Muslims. Muslims were in, uh, Muslims were preparing to defend themselves against Roman aggression. Unbelievable. Romans had already started the aggression by threatening the Prophet and his community. If you want to read Ibn Kathir, I challenge you to read that part where it talks about the Roman attacking, Romans attacking the Muslims. Why wouldn't you read it is the question. Why not? That's because it will clear the context and it will expose your, your, uh, your hypocrisy and your double standards in using our sources to think that you can actually paint us as barbarians. The Prophet of Islam, if we followed that understanding of jizya, which my friend presented it, then there would be no Jews and Christians left alive in the Muslim lands. To the contrary, the Christians and the Jews flourished for centuries. The Jewish people, they had the golden age in Al-Andalus when it was governed by the Islamic law. The Prophet of Islam had treaties with the Jewish people. The Prophet of Islam gave protection to the Jewish people. The Prophet of Islam gave protection to the Christians. In fact, when the Muslims went into Syria, the Christians opened their doors for them welcoming them as liberators. Same happened in Spain when Muslims landed in Spain. The Jewish people, they, they sided with the Muslims. They were providing Muslims with important intelligence to neutralize, to neutralize the occupation of Spain. Time. Jewish people were siding with time, the Muslims. Time, time, Why time, is time. the question? Time. I'm going to read the context for you. Yeah. And then you can come up with that conclusion. Yeah. Watch this. Romans. We're gonna, I'm going to read Romans second. I'm going to read what I read first. Yeah, this is what I read, yeah? Ibn Kathir, widely regarded by Sunni Muslims to be the best Quranic commentator, 130, yeah? Commentator of all time in his tafsir and had this to say That's about Surah Kathir, 2. Bro. Wait, listen. 2, 256. This is Ibn Kathir. There is no compulsion in religion. So, so wait, wait. wait. Is Ibn Kathir saying that Ibn Kathir, can, Kathir can, is the No, 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 no. Let me, let me just so say. You read something there. No, I'm going to, I'm going to explain. I'm going to, yeah. I'm going to clarify so, myself. So can you, can you. When I'm going to clarify myself. Sure. Don't worry. Yeah. This is what Ibn Kathir had to say. 
The reason for the revelation of the verse was that the woman of Ansar used to make a vow to the convert their sons to the Judaism if the latter lived. And when the tribe of Bani Anhaidar was expelled from Medina, some children of um, some children of Ansar were among them, so their parents could not abandon them. Hence, Allah revealed there is no compulsion in religion. Thank you. Narrate, wait, narrated Ibn Jair on authority of Ibn Abbas and Abu Dawood, yeah? It was, it was revealed with the regard to a man from the tribe of Bani Salim, Ibn Awuf, called al Husayni, whose two sons converted to Christianity, but he himself was a Muslim. He told the Prophet, shall I force them to embrace Islam? This is what the guy is saying to the Prophet. They insist on Christianity. Hence, Allah revealed the verse. But this verse is abrogated by the verse of fighting. This is Ibn Kathir talking, not me. He quotes Surah 48, 16. You shall be called to fight against the people to great warfare, then they should fight them or they shall surrender. Surah 973. Strive hard against the hypocrites and be harsh against them. Surah 9, 1, 2, 3. Fight those of the disbelievers who are close to you and let them find harshness in you. And then what I read earlier on, Ibn Kathir concludes it like this. Therefore, all people of the world should be called to Islam. If any of them refuses to do so or refuses to pay the jizya, they should be fought till they are killed. There is the context for the first one. I will give you the context of Romans for the second one. You have on my next segment. minute to find Romans. No, 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 I'll show you. No, I'll give you, I'll give you an extra minute. Respond to this one first. I will. No, no. Uh, do, do you think minutes. I'm running away? Two I minutes. I want you to read the, Romans, Anan, the context. Respond to this one two minutes and I'll show you the Romans. Come on, go. You have two extra minutes. Uh, no, I don't, yeah, I don't, I I don't need time. it. I don't I need it. I give you it. my time. My you have four minutes. I don't need it. I don't need it. I, go for hello. it. I'm giving you my time. Two minutes, go on. I don't need it. Can you just go? Please. I'm giving you my time and your oh two minutes. You have four minutes to talk. This is offer Unbelievable. This is an offer in a debate. You cannot reject unless you want to be, you know. <laughs> so now look for the context. Obviously the context Are you going to talk or not? Okay, okay, listen. No, no, you have to. Okay, I'm not listen. I'm not listen. I'm not listen. You have four minutes. I know. Start no, the time. no, I'm not going to start the time right. because I am the one who quoted Tafsir Ibn Kathir, where it says, therefore, all people of the world should be called to Islam. If they don't, they should be fought today or killed. I didn't talk well, about Romans. The context. I didn't talk about Romans. I'm telling you. I read you the context of this specific okay. ayah so this and then respond to this one first. This and then us. I will respond to your Roman rhetoric. This shows us. I'll show you. Go. Two minutes. Go. No, 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 no. I'm not speaking. I'm only clarifying. This shows us that these people. <laughs> I'm not speaking, I'm only yeah, yeah. No, no. It, of course it's funny because I want him to take. I, it's going to get funnier. Watch. You know? Let's see if you laugh again. Okay. So, um, <laughs> um, it is clear that this gentleman hasn't done his homework. It's, it's right he, has, here. he hasn't got. The, okay, then read. It's four right minutes. Here. Four it's minutes. Right here. Four minutes. I told him that. Okay. Don't do this to yourself. Okay. Okay. He didn't listen. I'm gonna read it. Yeah. <laughs> However, you're gonna have to deal with my first point, what and then you're gonna deal with what, the, what makes no, you? no, because you're the one who brought up the uh, Romans. I didn't bring them up. That's the context. That's no, that's not the context. Read it. That's a different context. Read it. Well, I'm going to read it. Though. I'm going to read it. Context with the same verse. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's a different. Do you know it's even? So, so whoa, you whoa, deliberately whoa. choose this no, context. No, I did it. The more hostile one. I did. I have. Uh, I have both of them. Okay, then read I have her, both of them. Why don't you read the other one, nicer one? Because we're debating. Two minutes because, after two minutes. Because <laughs> I want to make look Islam bad. No, no. Listen, okay. I want to make Muslims look evil. All right, let's expose you. Let's expose you. Why don't you say that? Let's expose you. And then you're going to deal with Let both. Let me take my shirt off. Let me expose myself. <laughs> Watch this. Ibn okay, Kathir, okay. the you, battles... Can you yeah, can four you minutes, four minutes. No, two minutes. The battles of the Prophet. This is Ibn Kathir, page 183 to 184. I'll give you the reference, yeah? No, no, this same verse. Allah Most High. Hold on a second. No, no. Why are you interrupting? I want, no, I want the same verse. You want the Romans, the right? Co the commentary of the same you verse. Want the, you, want the, you want the Romans. No, 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 I'll no, give wait. you the Romans. Daniel, Daniel. Let's be civilized. Adnan. No. Adnan, why are you, why are you interrupting me? You can't, you can't handle it, that's why. You can't handle it, that's why. I know, I know it can be Don't, if, I'm, if I'm wrong, then talk about in it when you're in your time. In a fruitful discussion, if I'm I am wrong, requesting from this gentleman yeah. to read the entire passage of Ibn Kathir on the matter. Okay. Period. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Do you have it with you? 
You brought it up. Okay, but do you I'm have it with you? I'm requesting from you to read. How can we know the context when okay. the entire passage now, is I'm going to read. I'm going to read to you what I brought here. Why did Page you Page 183. So you don't have the entire... I do. Listen. I, okay. Listen. The problem with you is you're not listening. I can pull it out now in Arabic and Take I'll read it, out. it and translate it. Take it out. Take it out. Okay. But I want if you I to am wrong, it. If I am wrong, you can correct me in your own time. Okay. So am I correct Ibn in Kathir, assuming that you don't have the entire passage? Ibn Kathir. Do you have the entire Page 183 to 184. What does that mean? Allah most Sorry, high. sorry, sorry. We don't know what that means. 183, 184. Okay. Can, you talk, can you talk like that in your but time? What... what you can't handle it. What verse are you dealing you with? You have to interrupt me to make yourself look good. Don't interrupt. Listen first. You've got two ears and one mouth. And then correct me in your time. Okay. I keep restarting the time. I want the, Don't interrupt. I want the Don't commentary interrupt. for the same verse. Don't interrupt. I want the commentary for the Don't interrupt. Verse. Don't interrupt. Okay. He doesn't know. He's evading. He He's evading. He's evading. I'm evading. Allah Most High ordered the believers to prohibit the disbelievers from entering or coming near the sacred mosque. On that, Qureshi thought that this would reduce their profits from trading. Therefore, Allah Most High compensated them and ordered them to fight the people of the book until they embrace Islam or pay the jizya. Listen, Allah says, all you who believe, truly the pagans are unclean. So let them not, after this year, approach the sacred mosque. And fear poverty soon will Allah will reach you, enrich you, sorry, if he wills, out of his bounty. For Allah is all knowing or wise. Fight those who do not believe in Allah, nor the last day, nor hold that forbidden which Allah has forbidden and his messenger, nor acknowledge the religion of the truth from among the people of the book until they pay the jizya with willing submission and feel themselves subdued. Therefore, the messenger of Allah decided to fight the Romans in order to call them to Islam. So it's got nothing to do with Romans attacking him. It's got to do with them not believing in Islam. Okay. No, don't interrupt. I didn't finish. Okay, well, I didn't finish. How much time it's got, you said four minutes, right? Yeah. You want to go for four minutes? No, no? you said four go, minutes. Go, go, go for four minutes. Go for it. But you're not answering my question. No, I you did know? answer it. No, I did answer it. You, you, Let's he said four minutes. He wants, he wants to go on. Okay, I'm going to stop And it. he doesn't want to read Ibn Kathir. I'm going to stop He doesn't want to read, I didn't read the entire passage. I just did. I just That's did. not the entire passage. That is Ibn Kathir. Okay, wait. That is Ibn Kathir. No problem. Take it out. In your own time. No, no, no. In your own time. In your own. Let me finish first. No, no. Can I finish my time? Let me take it out. You're going to read it in four minutes. Four minutes. There is no... Four minutes to read Ibn Kathir. There's no order. I'm four minutes. Not for your rant. No, no, no order. Not for I have read. I have read what Ibn Kathir says about Jizya. that's not the entire passage. You brought up the Romans. I never brought up the Romans. I was going to... But I was going to... But not now. That slowly, I was gonna take you out. Slowly, I was going to expose you. But you exposed yourself early. No problem. Yeah. So the Romans is clear as crystal. If you Muslims don't get this, I feel sorry for you. There is no Roman that was fighting Muhammad at all. No Muhammad was. No Romans was going to fight Muhammad. We'll see. Romans. Do not believe in Islam. That's why the verse came. Fight those who don't believe in Allah. It's very clear. Why? Because I don't believe in Allah. Fight them. Because they didn't embrace Islam. And it says here, they have to pay the jizya. There you go. Go on. You're going to Google to find this out. It's embarrassing. Oh, no, I'm here. I'm embarrassing. In the theater, all of it. You will read in your four right. minutes, my friend. Right. Yeah. No, you read it. Yes, you read it. It's time now. Okay. It's your time. What? It's your time now. To no, refute you, this. I want you to read in four I minutes. read it, okay. so you refute me. Go on. No, no, you're going to read the full, the entire No, I read what I've read, and if I'm wrong, exactly. if I'm wrong, hang me. Okay. You have time. Two That's minutes. Fine. You ready? Go. No, we don't know hanging and lynching. It's Only metaphor. Christians Only Christians. Is he, is he Muslims? Only, they always think about, they always think about okay. violence. It's metaphor, if you yeah. understand yeah. what that means. We we Muslim, okay, ready? Always think. Are you okay. ready? Two minutes. Okay. Ready? Ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I'm ready. Ready, ready. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Now, our friend here, what he did was, he selectively chose passages from Ibn Kathir's commentary on the Quran. And there's a vast commentary on these verses on jizya. Ibn Kathir clearly gives the context. What scholars of Tafsir or commentators do of the Quran is that they bring in information to contextualize the verse. How is it to be applied? How was the verse revealed in the first place? For what? For what purpose? 
in Ibn Kassir's commentary and I will read it in Arabic in due course and oh, translate it. Okay. I will show you that Ibn Kassir clearly stated that this was when the Romans were attacking the Muslims. These verses were revealed because Romans oh, were, and there's a hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari is there. And he knows show about me, it. I'm sure me, he knows me, about it. Just show me. Okay, I will read it. That Omar bin Khattab was at home and a Sahabi came running, knocked his door to tell him, to give him a news of something. And Omar opened the door and he said, have the Romans arrived? Okay. And that was the fear in Medina of Romans. Okay. This oh was the last God. year of the Prophet. That's why this verse was revealed. To defend show, yourselves. Show us, show us. To defend yourselves. Show I know us. it doesn't. I know it hurts. It hurts. Show us. Anyway, calm down. Calm down. The context, you, the context hurts. Here. Okay. Context hurts. So the Prophet oh, Salam, he was given this verse from Allah. First of all, the first verse where it says the disbelievers are impure, it's not talking about physical. Look at this guy. I'm hugging him. No, He's don't touch me. I'm not, whoa, 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 whoa. Please don't. Is there, is there a you man? don't need to touch hug. me. Just, is there a just, just talk. I can hug. No one wants to hug me. No one wants to hug me. <laughs> yeah. No, no, you're a Muslim. You're a Muslim. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, coming Come back on, to my just point. Talk. So Why did you put is, your phone back? It is about the belief of the polytheists who were attacking the Muslims from Makkah. So verse number 28 is not quite dealing with verse 29. Verse 29 is dealing with the people of the book who are the Romans, the Christians. They were time, planning time, to time, attack time. Muslims. Time is over. Time is over. I'm finishing now. You took always, you took 15 to 20 seconds You interrupted more. Okay. me. Okay. So, so the Romans were the I people of the book. This. Okay. Now the question is, if, if it is true, and now it is time. True, the hecklers are here. We can't talk. What do you mean? It's time already, anyway. No, wait, wait. What do you mean? I have to finish my point. What's your point? Okay, go on. Go on. The Romans, if they were attacking the Muslims in the year nine when this verse was revealed, and the commentators clearly state that this verse was revealed for the Romans because they were attacking Muslims, so the verse was to fight them, to defend yourselves, and subdue them because their oppressors subdue them and then. Give them a chance to live in peace and how many? Those okay, who time. want to live in peace and how many? Okay, time. By charging them jizya. Yeah. Okay, time, That's time, it. time, time. No, my Adnan, Ad, okay, I'm going to time myself. Adnan, I challenge you challenge. today, challenge you today. What you said, show me where it says, fight the Romans because they're fighting you. Pay the jizya because they're fighting you. Show me. Exactly. I am showing you from your own sources Jizya payment was for humiliation and because I don't believe in Allah. I read to you in Sahih al-Bukhari, book 55, chapter 88. Your prophet said this. If you believe in what Muhammad said, this is what he said. My livelihood is under the, sh is under the shade of my spear. And he who disobeys my orders will be humiliated by paying the jizya. This is what your prophet said. So if you disagree with your prophet, you might as well just leave Islam now. Become an apostate right now. Because this is what your prophet said. And then I read to you Surah 929, 28, 23, 28 and 30. And the tafsir of Ibn Kathir, what he said. Therefore, all people of the world should be called to Islam. You don't have a problem with that, I guess. Any Muslim has a problem with that? Every Muslim has a problem? No, no, no Muslim has a problem with everyone being coming to know Islam. But in the same sentence, Ibn Kathir says, if they refuse to pay the jizya, fight them till they are killed. You have a problem with that because your Western mind, your watered down version Islam does not agree with what Ibn Kathir says. So Adnan, I've got 20 seconds. I challenge you now. Show me where Romans were coming to fight Muhammad and that was the reason why he went to fight them. Show me the jizya, the purpose for jizya was defensive and not offensive. Go. You ready? I'm going to play it. Diversion. Diversion! Here's the slaughter. All right, ready? Here's the slaughter of okay. this Christian missionary who doesn't fail to lie. Arabic, Ibn Kathir, which he doesn't have. And there's a reason why, brothers and sisters, I was asking to read the entire text. Because these people, they are a bunch of liars. 
Okay? They are hate preachers. They want to paint Muslims as barbarians, as savages, so that everyone is scared of them. And if we followed that understanding of the religion, I would be scared myself of Muslims. I would be scared of Muslims. But our history testifies otherwise. Takia, 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 lying. Takia, Takia, Takia is coming. Arabic, Arabic, Ibn Kathir. And give him the source. Give me the source. Translate. Anyone who knows Arabic here? Anyone? No. And, and give us the source as well. Okay, Ibn Kathir. Translate it and give us the source. Ibn Kathir, tafsir of the same verse, chapter 9 of the Quran, verse 29, where Allah talks about fighting the people of the book. Because why? And this verse, the first commandment here is to fight the people of the book. After the pagans of Mecca have been subdued, Allah commands to fight the people of the book. Who are they? Falamma istakama jaziratul Arab. Amr Allah, Amr Allah, wa Rasulahu, wa Rasulahu bi kat Amr Allah, Amr Allah. Sorry, Amr Allah wa Rasulahu bi katal ahl al kitabain al jahud wa nasara. Then Allah commanded, and His Messenger commanded to fight. The Jewish uh, tribes and the Christians. Wakana dalik of his sana tisa, and this happened in the year nine. Wali hada tajhuz Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam alayhi wasallam likitali Rome. For this reason, the Prophet of Islam he went to fight the Romans. We didn't hear you. Sorry. Yeah. For this reason, the Prophet of Islam went to fight the Romans. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Okay, 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 wait, wait, wait. It's time, you know that. It's no, time. But I'll give you more. I'll give you more. Go, go. Expose yourself more. Expose yourself more. Janazah's already done. It's time to take your shahada. I can't believe this. So here. Do you want to do a new read the Sham, the Katali Rome, for Balaga Tabuk, for Nazala Biha, our Kama Alamiha, Kariban, Maiha, Kariban, sorry, Min Ashreen Yoman. So Rasulullah, here Ibn Kathir in the Arabic language is clearly stating that first of all, God commanded to subdue the pagans of Mecca who had attacked the Muslims, right? What? And they had destroyed the Muslim uh, um, tribes, Muslim tribes, or people who are allied to Muslim wow. tribes. Banu Bakr and Banu Khuzair. <laughs> there were two tribes, they fought each other. One was allied to the Meccans, the other one allied to the Muslims. They don't want to know this history, right? I know, I, I understand why. Oh, I give know. me the source. Give them. me the source. Anyway, anyway. All Ibn Kathir. All is in Ibn, Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir, you you can, anyone can say. Give me the, give me the source. All of it. Page can number. I, can I, page can I, number. Arabic. Give me the page number. It's, it's, it's in Arabic. Do you have the page number? Yeah. Okay. In, in let, Arabic. Let me talk. Let me talk. In Arabic. Listen, you've been talking for three minutes. I've given you a minute extra. Yeah, let me can talk. I, can I finish? Let reading? me talk. Can I finish? In reading? your next segment. When I, no, when I, in your next segment. When I want to read. In your next segment. When I want to read. You want? Do you want me to read? Time is over, sir. Okay. Time is over. Time is over. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. So it's clear. It's very funny. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It is about Romans. Hey, listen, Adnan. Hey. Adnan, my challenge again, please, Muslims, listen. Yeah, my challenge again. Yeah, is show me what Ibn Kathir says. The reason why Muhammad had to go and fight the Romans is because they were attacking him. Just because it says the word Romans, oh yeah, they were attacking him already. Don't interrupt. Word by word. Don't interrupt. Don't interrupt. Because of this. You can't handle it. this. Why are you interrupting? Why are you interrupting? No, I haven't finished. Okay, you finish. I haven't fi the fact that he's interrupting means he doesn't have the sources. No, no. Give me the page number in your own time. Give me the references. You say this in Arabic. You're making Arabic some big language. It's nothing. Show me where, where. Show me the sources. I'll give you the sources here. The Battles of the Prophet Ibn Kathir. You can go and read it yourself. Page 183 and 84. This is what it says. Therefore, the messenger of Allah decided to fight the Romans in order to call them to Islam. This is what it says. I'm giving you the sources, Muslims. If you don't trust me, go and read it. The Battle of the Prophet, page 183 to 184. Arnan is cornered in speaker's corner, so that's why he can't show me. Don't hide behind Arabic. Show me where it says, Ibn Kathir says the Romans came to fight them, and then Muhammad went to fight. No, 
No one came to fight Muhammad. They didn't have enough time for that. The guy went to fight Romans because they didn't believe in Islam. That's why Surah 929 time, came time. in. Nope. That's why Surah 929 came in and says, fight those who don't believe in Allah. Very simple. Out, if you go out, over two out, minutes, out, it's time. Out, out of your Christian generosity, give me one minute. No, 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 no. You Christian can compromise. Generosity. No, 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 no. Out no. of your Christian no. generosity. My, my, my Christian, my Christian generosity is truth. You can have truth. You can have three truth and honesty. You can have three minutes. Two minutes, two minutes. Two minutes. They don't want people no. to know. No, 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 no. Arnan, Arnan, They will let me shout. Hello. But they won't let me. Okay, talk to me here. Can you conclude for two minutes? Conclude. I'll give you two minutes. Conclude. Thank you. Do your conclusion. You ready? And then I'll do my conclusion. Go. No problem. For two minutes. Yeah, yeah there, there it started. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, I was saying that those Christians who lived under Islam, Bahia bin Pakuda, Jewish rabbi writing in Cordoba in 1085 states that our living standard is even better than the Muslims. Likewise, Amnon Cohen, who is a Jewish scholar from Israel, wrote a book in 1994 uh, titled A Word from Within, the sigil records from the 16th century. He studied the court record from the Ottoman period in Jerusalem for, for the year 1570 to, uh, sorry, 1500 to 1570. For 70 years, he read the court records. And in these court records, he found 1,000 Jewish cases filed in the Sharia court, in the Muslim court. Why were the Jews coming to Sharia court? Because they found more justice. So say, who says so? Amnon Cohen, who is a Jewish scholar. Likewise, wow. in the 9th century, in 850s, Patriarch Theodosius, writing in Jerusalem, in the 9th century when the Abbasids but governing Jerusalem, he states, the Saracens, i.e. the Muslims, let us live in peace. They do not molest us. They do not abuse us in any shape or form. And they allow us to practice our religion with freedom. Theodosius, John Bar Penkaye, John Bar Penkaye writing in the seventh century when Muawiyah radiallahu an was governing the Muslim empire. He writes that the peace throughout the world is such that we have never seen anything like it. And the list goes on and on and on. I have, a, I have written a book on this topic, and the, the title of the book is Islam's War and Terror. Islam's War and Terror, you can find it PDF online, all the quotes Don't worry. and more is there. Don't so worry, you Ali. can see the lying face of these missionaries. So you can, it's 20 seconds left, you can clearly see. This man has never lived in Islamic State. The ones who have, look at their testimony. No, Islamic, it, under Islamic it's, yeah. law, yeah, it's not Islamic, Islamic it's State. Islamic. Well, you know what no, Islamic State means? Yeah. 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 So you can clearly see the ones yeah, who he's part of it, that's rule, why. how they testified. And you're talking about humiliation. Look, did, they, did any of them say we got humiliated? All right, you got time, yeah? Time, time. It's very interesting, it's very interesting that you take what the Muslims say under, under the Roman Empire, or whatever you said, more than what Ibn Kathir says, and more than what the Quran says, more than what Muhammad himself said. I have read what Muhammad said, I have read what Ibn Kathir said, and I have read what your Prophet says. It's very clear, clear as crystal, that jizya is for humiliation, you pay jizya to humiliate the Christians and the Jews under Sharia law. That's why I pay jizya. If I don't believe in Allah under Sharia law, I have to pay jizya or I am killed. It's very clear. Therefore, all people of the world should be called to Islam. If they refuse to accept Islam, fight them till they are killed. These are the words of Muhammad. And the reason for that is to humiliate them. So Arnan is lying. He's lying again and again for to protect his Islamic, whatever it is, it's taqiyya. It's in Surah 328, they are allowed to lie to protect themselves because they're the minority in society. But when they become the majority in society, that's when they say, pay the jizya or I'll kill you. Watch this guy when it's under Sharia law, he'll be a different guy. It's very clear. It's very clear. I will Ibn Kathir said, money. Ibn Kathir I said, this money. Don't I don't need your money. Don't I don't need your money. Can lie to hide the, our the, the problem is, the problem is, prove, I'll give him I didn't money. interrupt in his time. I didn't interrupt in his time. He just said, and I'm he's interrupting me. And I'm, a, I'm allowed to lie. Surah 328. 300 pounds there. Ibn Kathir right says, now. Ibn Kathir says, the fact that he's interrupting me is, is touching him so oh, much no, no, that he can't handle it. That he can't handle it. Yeah. I feel sorry for you. Surah 328. Yeah. You can lie. You can, I'm giving you sources. You can lie when you're the minority in you society. Want the money? What did Ibn Kathir and Abu Dada say about okay. Surah 328? They said 
that so we smile in their faces, but we curse them in our hearts. It's very, very clear. So he's not being Islam. honest. Rather, I'm reading what, what your sources say, and the Muslims passage. here don't they accept what I'm saying Islam because they don't like it. They're living in the West. Their watered down the version of Islam, they believe in that. And we're saying to you, people who are watching, leave Islam and come to know Jesus. We don't have any problems like this in Jesus Christ. He's the way, the truth, and the life. God bless you. Jesus the Lord. He died 101 years.